What's up, Dirt Nerds? I'm George, and it is Dirt 30. Let's see what we're going to be digging into today. What's up, everybody? Just bringing you in for a quick shout-out for somebody. And I did some copper last night. I was going to film it. My apologies. Um, I did not, only because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to, you know, how it was going to turn out. I didn't want to show you a bunch of gross and, and stupid, you know, melts that didn't work right. And But it came out pretty good. So I think by my next copper melt, I will definitely be filming and I'll show you all. Uh, the process and everything it definitely takes a little longer um, I found out the hard way that yeah you got to do one shot at a time then put it back in the kiln let or let, you know, let it let it heat up because um, I did so my first three first three pours I did with the copper I just tried to do all in one shot just boom 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 and the first one out was a copper thumb up bar came out pretty dang cool you know really neat markings on the back Instead of ripples, it's got these like almost like stretch marks. <laughs> Came out pretty good. And then I went right over and I poured a skull. Uh, they kind of came out a little mutant, almost alien-like. But there's one. There's skull number one. If I can get it to focus. Come on, focus on that. There we go. It is a little, little funky looking. But you can see the teeth, you can see the eyes, you can see the nose, and that's a you know pretty, pretty stout little bar. And that one came in about uh, like right you know, a little over an ounce and a half somewhere in there. Uh, and then this one, my son really dug this one. Uh, this is more alien, mutant, zombie, like just completely disfigured looking skull. But it is pretty dang cool. He's really gnarly looking. Oops. Threw him on the ground. <laughs> there we go. There's the back of it there. It's got a weird little pock on the back. Like this thing poured really weird. But it came out alright. You know, it's it's funky, but I you know, it's unique. <laughs> and then it went ahead and I made a big bar. It is 4.8 ounce. Dirt 30, super chunky, pure copper bar. Just a big old monker. And I got the Dirt 30 imprint to take. That was cast into it. That's not stamped in. That's cast into it. So that's pretty cool. So I'll, I'll be definitely showing you the uh, the pours the next time I do some more copper. Um, graphite molds seem to definitely work a little bit better. Um, it did this was done the big bar was done in in the sands and it actually did take the the dirt 30 imprint pretty well but it's really pocky it's not very smooth uh, the graphite mold one the thumb up bar this thing came out really smooth really smooth on both sides all the way around came out really smooth um, the ones I did in the sand came out kind of chunky the skulls were done in the sand too kind of came out a little wonky kind of chunky um, I could just need to pack the sand a little harder than I do with silver. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to work with, something to play with and figure out how to make it happen. <clears throat> I will be making my coppers available too. I have not priced anything yet. I, I don't know what, uh, how much to sell them for. I mean, they're, they're cool. They're still just copper. So, um, they're not going to be, they're not going to be very expensive, you know? I mean, come on, I sell my, I sell my pure silvers. For 20 bucks an ounce I mean then that's barely a little over spot and those are you know that's <laughs> pretty decent as far as, as far as I know so and the coppers I'll be doing uh, again I'll be doing the copper bowl I won't I won't I won't be expensive so uh, if you already read the title then you know who the who the shout out here is for for my boy Baggins over at Baggins Dragons Got me my Baggins Dragon sticker. Oh yeah. That bad boy's going to go right up on the wall here. Let's see. We're going to find a good spot for you. Put you right above. and give him a thumbtack. Put you right next to Clash here. If I can get a thumbtack out. We're going to go right up here. That looks good there, yeah? Now let's go ahead right over here. 
we'll put Baggins Dragons right underneath the Antarctic. There we go. Baggins Dragons. And I sent him one of my Dirt 30 long bars. And he sent me. This thing is beautiful. This is Baggins Bar number 72. Just gorgeous ripples. Look at those ripples in this thing. I mean, just epic. So gorgeous. And it is 2.43 troy ounces. And it's marked Baggins Bar number 72. Since I was born in 72, that was why I really wanted bar 72. Either 72 or 68. 68 is my favorite year of vehicle. It's it's my car, 68 Dart GT. And then I have, you know, like I said, I was born in 72, so uh, beautiful, beautiful bar, my friend. Most excellent. I am very proud to add this to my collection of personal silver uh, that I'll never get rid of. It'll this this is going into my uh, my keeping it always box. That is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And as always, he does these awesome little certificate of authenticity. I, I don't do any certificates for mine yet, just because, you know, I, I I don't feel that they're quite good enough yet. I mean, they're cool. Um, I dig them. Everybody seems to dig them that gets them. Um, but when I get to the level of, like, Baggins, you know, I know he's, he's, new, he's new into doing all this, too, with me. But I'm pretty sure he's been pouring a lot longer than I have. Um, so he's, he's definitely got it down a little better. So when, when my pours get better, well, then, yeah, I may charge a little bit more and uh, whatnot. But for now, I, I'm keeping it just keeping it honest, keeping it real. Um, come on. They're funky. They're wonky. They're weird. So COAs will come later when I get better and I get things get, you know, a little more organized and whatnot. Um, I do still have some Southern, some, some of my silvers are available. I've got a couple skulls left. Got those two palm bars that I just did the other day. Got those two palm tree bars. And I do believe there is a dirt nugget and a heart left as well. So uh, 2350 each for the silvers. It's one ounce. They're actually all over an ounce. So uh, you get your money's worth. Coppers, as like I said, I have not figured out how, what I'm going to charge for them yet. So uh, if you're interested, hit me up and we'll figure something out and I'll let you know. Cool. Nice, quick, easy video. I know that's, well, this is like uncommon for me. I usually, you know, half an hour of me rambling. <laughs> so I got all my gifts out the other day. So I'm pretty sure I'm all caught up. Um, I do have one last gift to put together and do a drawing for. And that's for my Patreons. Uh, don't worry, guys. I have not forgot about you. Still got something in the works for you here. Um, I do have a pay dirt coming in the mail to do a, to do a video on. So... Yay, and it's a new company, well, new to me, so uh, I, I haven't found really any, any reviews on it yet, so it'd be kind of cool. We'll see what happens. Um, it wasn't a very expensive bag, it was about like 32 bucks, something like that, free shipping. Uh, I got it through eBay, as always. It's, that's my go-to for, for finding my dirt. <laughs> so, as again, the uh, 1,100 subscriber pack is still there. As soon as we hit 1,100, um, it's going to be a big one. I will do a gift pack thing for a thousand when i hit a thousand we're we're at nine was that 972 when on my last check um so when i hit a thousand there will be a gift pack um it's not going to be huge but it'll be awesome they're always awesome you know you know come on my gift packs are cool all kinds of good stuff so but don't forget you know that 1100 there's pay dirt there's gold silver coppers uncirculated coins all kinds of commemoratives, goods, just all kinds of good stuff. There's a slab coin in there. I mean, come on. That's for the 1100 pack. Uh, the 1000 pack, like I said, I already did a 1000 pack once. Uh, this time, I'm just, it's just going to be a gift for, for, for the marker, for the actual marker again. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously, it'll be a good gift. We already know. You already know. All right, everybody. That was it. Uh, one, oh, sorry. One last shout out to my boy, EVG Hobbies. He's brand new. Um, he's a really good dude. I, I've been in touch with him before. Uh, he started his channel and got it going. 
He's just got his first video up, just a channel announcement of who he is, what he's going to be doing. Um, sounds like all it's going to be all some of the, you know, familiar content. You know, he's going to be doing some coin roll hunting, some detecting. Um, he's got some woodworking that he's going to be doing as well, which is awesome because I love woodworking of any kind, wood burning, wood carving. Uh, I I loved wood shop. That was one of my favorite subjects in school. <laughs> um, so uh, there will be links in the description below for Baggins and for EVG. Uh, make sure you go check them both out, please. Uh, EVG, definitely make sure you go over and hit him up, give him some subs. He needs it, you know, get his channel built up, uh, get him some, con you know, he's getting some content put together. He's got plenty of good stuff to go. Love your accent, my friend. And I understand you just fine, so don't worry about it. I understand you just fine. You know, I have a friend on here. Uh, nature hunter um, she has a very strong accent and she's always very self-conscious about it and so you know I, I understand you just fine don't worry about it if somebody else doesn't get it well that's their problem they need to learn how to listen to people and, and understand what they're saying it's not that hard um, <laughs> I've, I've gotten very used to it being in in the different lines of work that I've done being a locksmith and whatnot uh, especially in the area I'm at there's a lot of different ethnicities um, in the Tacoma Port area, you know, so you're, you know, there's, I've got almost like a melding pot of just so many different cultures right here in the Seattle area and, and, and around uh, the area I'm at. It's it's awesome. Great people. And all you got to do is listen. You can usually get an idea of what they're saying. Just saying. So EVG, my friend, don't worry about your accent. We get it. We understand you. Well, at least I do, and I'm cool, and that, that you're good, my friend. Don't worry about it. We will be, uh, I'll be watching, and I'll be commenting, and I'll be right there helping you, helping you grow your channel, my friend. You're worth it. You're a good dude. So, uh, real quick, this is also my little letter that I got from, from Baggins. It's Dirt Dragon. That's me. It's like, stoked on the trade, and early congrats on joining the 1K Sub Club, my friend. Stay awesome, Silver Baggins. Well, technically I was already at the 1K Club before the purge, and found out that I had 200 and some fake accounts, which knocked me. I was I was at just almost 1,200 before the purge, and now I, and then I got knocked back to like 950. Oh. I think it was about like 960 something, whatever. But yeah, I've just been kind of hovering around there, just kind of slowly creeping up a little bit here and there. So uh, everybody, please get the word out. 1,000 subs, it's going to be a gift pack. 1,100, it's going to be a huge one. I got the pay dirt. I've got gold, silver, coppers. And there's going to be more, I'm sure. I'll add more. <laughs> That's just how I roll. You know how I roll. More is always better, right? All right, everybody, that's going to be it. You have yourself a wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon, wonderful morning. Wherever you are, it is dirt dirty somewhere. Go dig in that dirt. Go hunt you some of that gold. Go look for some of those treasures hidden with your detector. Maybe hit a coin star. Check that dish. See if somebody left you some coins hanging out down there. Maybe uh, get in some pores of your own. Maybe do a little community trade of your own. Get a little beautiful bar like that from, from Mr. Baggins. Good stuff. Good people, good channels, and a good time. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you soon.